Uh, I filter here. Uh, before I get started, I'd like to thank Charming Man ninety three for bringing up the article on the uh, SJW's boycotting Marvel. <laughs> and you're right that that article. I mean, there wasn't really anything that they they were saying. Just a lot of complaints how there are not enough black female writers in this thing. Hercules is not gay. And I'm like, wait a minute. Um, there are plenty of gay characters out there. North Star from Alpha Flight. Hello. <laughs> you know, you can't have that for some. I don't know for some infallible reason. I guess North Star doesn't exist, and the host of other characters that don't exist. I don't know, maybe if she just, or this guy, woman, I don't know. If they looked on Wikipedia, they could look up uh, gay superheroes, and they'll find a litany of them. I mean, the new Batwoman is gay, but I don't know. Nightlight, uh, what is it? Midnighter and Apollo. So, what seems to be the problem? So, but you're worried about... This one particular character is not fitting your ideal. One of the things is I've often said, I've said in previous videos, these people do not buy comics. They don't. They look at something and then they say, oh, well, well, well this is the way I want it. And this should change because I want it this way. And then once it gets changed because of some type of pressure, they're not going to keep up and, and finish reading it. Another thing. Blade. Oh, we can have the female Blade written by white guys. Hmm. Okay. Um, then find a black woman who's a writer who's willing to write for a comics company. Oh, wait. That's right. There's not that many of them. Sadly, most of the female, black female writers that are out there seem to write books in the Alice Walker vein. Okay? There's maybe five female science fiction writers that I can tell you who are actually black. Octavia Butler is like one of them. And I can't remember the other three. I wrote them down somewhere. Someplace in here. But... Let's face it, most black female writers do not write sci-fi, much less comics. You could have the an open casting call, but if they're not coming in there. If you put out a casting call for uh, ginger kids with <laughs> freckles to show up for uh, a role, and nothing but <laughs> blonde kids and black kids show up, then they just have to recast the role. <laughs> they can't have the gender kid if if another set of kids show up. I don't know. It's just kind of sickening. <sighs> and again, I, I said it again. I said it once, I'll say it again. If you're dissatisfied with the way comics are today, write and create your own. There is no shortage of creative types you could find plenty of black artists colorists inkers letterers to do a job demanding that somebody do the uh, throw out their own guys just because you have a butt hurt over something you're probably not going to read it and i can tell you something one thing I'm looking at this article, I can tell. This person's only writing this article because this is the only job that they can get. They'd rather be working for, like, The Daily Show or something like that. Because I, I know they don't give a shit about comics. Whenever you see articles like this, you can tell they're not, their heart's not into it. it. It's the same thing when it comes to Gamergate, when you have the Gamers Are Dead article. It's the same stupid thing. They... You, you, you could tell they didn't want this job to write about video games. They don't, they, they can't stand writing things about this stuff. This is a genre for geeks, nerds, and losers in their minds. The only reason why they're doing it is because it pays the damn bills. That's why there's so much contempt in their writing. Now, 
or my head explodes, I'm going to have to get the hell out of here. Oh, and um, I'm probably going to do my uh, review on um, humans tomorrow, so uh, y'all keep an eye out for that. Until then, um, y'all have a really, really nice day, or week, or whatever. I'm out.